as you see we're here to talk about 2xko if you haven't heard of it it's an upcoming free-to-play 2v2 team based fighter made from riot Games studio and um a lot of the characters i believe were from league of legends and i'm very excited there's been a lot of hype and talk about it over the past i think a year or two and i never got to play it until a couple weeks ago i finally got to try out this beautiful game and i gotta say it was amazing so let's get into it okay so while i have this playing in the background i wanted to talk about the game and its mechanics so honestly it felt so smooth and fluid um as you see in the gameplay going from one attack to another it's so seamless like it's so nice the best way i can explain it is if you play different fighting games like mk street fighter tekken the way you transition from one attack to another they're all different right um and mk is the slowest of the three and with this one i guess it's a sweet spot between tekken and street fighter to me at least because it was so smooth going from one attack to another uh, a lot of the buttons i remember using with brawn was who i used the most was the three and four okay which is like a medium kick and light kick right i remember using those two buttons the most as far as combos and when it came to special attacks you would use your bumper so l1 r1 lb rb um by hitting both the buttons at the same time those would activate that and um it was awesome um also when it comes to the tag you have your point and you have your support and as you see alpha's coming up and I can't wait. It comes out in a couple of days and we should have a code. We should have a code. But I wanted to go to this site and look at it and so you guys can see some things. Here, looking, I'm not sure. Okay, here you go. There's a low parry and there's a regular parry, okay? I never got to really use that too much from my playing because I was kind of just mashing, trying to get a feel of the game. But as you see, these are the moves that you have. And when it comes to the tag, mechanics which is very interesting there's a point one and your two right which is your support and what i mean is that the first character right player one if you are player two so if you you can tag in at any moment right there's a little meter for it but as the point i can decide to keep you in or not so that's where it's kind of interesting and there's also skills right there's a skill called fuse freestyle and so on and from these skills they all vary one lets you um combine supers right if i have one meter you have one meter now we have two right if i'm in game or you're in game you can combine it for a certain special combo there is freestyle would allow you to switch um i guess repetitively between your two you know point one and point two stuff like that that's going to make this game really interesting um obviously from what i got to play i didn't really go too in depth it was kind of just the first time getting a feel of the game but let's get to some gameplay so you can make more sense of it so ign has showed some so you, so you can see how this looks and the game is dope <laughs> trust me it is so fun so fun about 30 seconds later i also realized i didn't care mm -mm. i was having too much fun so Braun was my favorite um i believe there's a character called i think it's Ezekiel, and he can teleport and he can kind of go back in time and stuff like that so this is the exact booth that I actually was playing at. Um, this is where everyone can go in and try to test out the game so yeah right here you can see your little your super your meters on the bottom and up here your point and your tag and this is his super mm -mm -mm. I had also played it at EVO last year, but what stood out to me was how much it changed, both on a systems level and with the new characters. There was only one truly new character in the build. Braum, a massive, muscled, seriously, this dude's pecs I wish pecs. I was able to capture she my own gameplay, but um, there will be footage the on the screen showing forums. me there and getting, it, like, getting all excited about it. Laoi, who was first available at EVO Japan this year and see some of the new stages experience yeah pulse, so there's only four the stages available the at the test and get a feel for the changes riot has made to ari since i last played it was 
a lot to come to grips with, but I came away with a deeper appreciation for what Riot is trying to accomplish with 2XKO, and I left very, very excited to play it again. Turn this up. First things first. If you've never heard of 2XKO, formerly Project L, it's Riot Games' attempt to bring the League of Legends universe to fighting games. 2XKO is designed to be simpler and less intimidating than most fighting games, mm -hmm. even by the standards of a tag fight. So that's that's what I was saying. It felt really easy to get into a combo, right? If you hop into Street Fighter, if you hop into MK, Tekken even, usually you won't be able to get an easy combo. Like, if you're just brand new, right? Like, never played the game at all, there's not a chance really you're going to be able to do combos. But I was able to go right in hit one or two buttons seeing that it would knock the opponent up continue with the next button like three and four and it was easy for me to get into a combo so what they're saying is absolutely true which is a good thing i don't think it's such a bad thing because some people might see that as a negative thing being too easy but that's just a combo routes right you have your tag system you have your skills you have the team skills so there's a lot of things stacking that's going to vary the skill based you know criteria people are looking for that and as you can see right here assist ready right so it does go away i i'm not sure if this is the meter for that but yes you would hit forward three right so braun right here i believe is the point and yasu that's how you pronounce it is the support so he as a support can hit forward three and then i can choose or not if they can stay so and I, to keep in mind, it's not just like, oh, they tag onto the screen, they're standing there doing nothing. Um, they can tag in and help me, right? If I'm doing a combo and they notice a certain point they can try to jump in, they can do that, which is really cool. So if I'm launching with Braun, I launch up up in the air and they want to tag in and kind of continue the combo, they can. If I'm getting overwhelmed defensively, like I'm just blocking the whole time, getting chipped out, um they can come in and knock the opponent away so there's many ways right so you can tag to change spots tag for help tag to continue combos so there's many a lot of variety in what you can do which is awesome and like i said i only played a small portion so once i get my hands on it fully for this weekend you're going to see a lot more in-depth conversation so shout out to ign they were able to sit down and get a lot more information with it because i was at evo playing a whole bunch of other games but just from i just wanted to add my input and kind of mix into what they're saying and confirm or not you know so yes which usually features simpler inputs compared to one-on-one -on -one examples like street fighter guilty gear or tekken if quarter circles dp motions and 360s make you grind your teeth 2xko wants to bring you in and help you along in ways that make it easy to pick up and play without oh, losing the parry. technical depth that it was, fighting games are From known. what I remember, pairing felt nice too. Um, that's another thing when you're getting on the defensive side, like similar to Street Fighter, is what about that parry button? So nice. Four. Unlike the most famous tag fighters, think Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 3, or Dragon Ball Fighter Z, 2XKO is a 2v2 game, not a 3v3. So, yeah. so that combo right there is a lot easier. I, I believe it's just like about four hits i think it's like forward three up three and then four four and then you're super i'm not exactly sure what the super was secondly it's a game where you can play solo or with a friend mm -hmm. with each of you taking control of one of the characters on your team finally it uses a simplified control scheme similar to street fighter 6's modern control option you've got a button yep. for light medium and heavy attacks two buttons that can be used for special moves and supers and one for tagging in your partner or calling in an assist there's also a button for dashing and parrying, but we'll come back to that in a second. Can't do a DP motion reliably? No problem. All you have to do to pull off the flashy specials in 2XKO is hold the direction and press a button. So sick. When I saw this super for the first time, I was like, what? So yeah, 2XKO <laughs> is easy to pick up and play, but it also has all of the sicko, affirming, stuff a fighting game needs. That means a strong strike throw game, some of the dirtiest mix-ups you've ever seen. You are not blocking some of this stuff, trust me. And stylish <laughs> combos that will melt health bars and look good doing it. Oh my god. Everything the body needs, all in one very beautifully animated Yeah, being package. able to pull off a tie combo is so satisfying. <laughs> Let's start with accessibility. One of the biggest new additions in this build is Pulse, the newest option in the Fuse system. 
You select your fuse option before a match starts. Ooh, and okay, so pulse. So it seems to be like, um, I wouldn't say like modern controls, but if you notice, a lot of the modern games have a easy mechanic, right? Uh, Street Fighter has modern, and then Tekken has special style. So this pulse thing, I don't know if I would really compare it to it, but just to, to you know, an example, you can just keep hitting a button and it would do an auto combo. And you've got a lot of choices. The first is Double Down, which allows you to chain your point character super into another super from your backline character for massive damage. You've probably heard this referred to as a DHC, or Delayed Hyper Combo, if you're a Marvel or DHC oh, player. Oh, okay. That is new. I was just assuming that... Because did he say that they combine for extra damage? Like, is he saying just, you know, to your combo, or does it do additional damage because of the team... Because I'm not sure if that's yeah. what he Freestyle, meant. Freestyle, which lets you tag in your partner twice in a single sequence. 2x assist, which gives you two assist options in a single assist call-in. And fury, which automatically boosts your damage when your health is low. Mm. All of these are so great like rage. options, but pulse joins fury as being geared for new players. With pulse, you can just mash light, medium, or heavy and get an auto combo. That's not to say that 2x KO's regular combos are super difficult by default. You can do a basic combo by chaining light, medium, heavy, and special together from weakest to strongest. Yep. But Pulse is a great way to so get So that's what I was talking about. That's what I exactly did. I was just doing uh, light kick and medium kick and then hitting forward and hitting up. And it allowed me to get, essentially, it felt like auto combos. But, I mean, it is similar to, like, Marvel versus Capcom, right? A lot of the combos you can kind of just hit like that. And it's, that's a good thing. I love being able to do crazy combos, right? And the hard part will come from defense, right? Parries, tag mechanics, you know, your skills. So, I like that. For how characters operate, especially if you're new to the game or, like me, playing it for the first time in a year. Elowi wins! <laughs> I also really like the changes to Ari. Previously, you had to manage the charges for her Foxfire special and manually reload them, which was difficult. Now you can spend them one at a time and get access to a three-hit Rekka that Ari can choose to cancel into a mix-up or continue combos with. This makes her easier, and more fun, to pick up and play. One of her special moves also changed from a bomb to a projectile that stays in place for a moment before homing in. Yeah, I didn't really opponent. use her too much, but she it looked interesting. It allows for some cool setups and shows that Riot... Wow, it see, this is what I mean. I didn't even notice that these little bombs around her were used in her tool set. Because I did fight against her, but I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just a visual cosmetic design, so is listening that is to the player nice. base and incorporating the feedback they're getting into the game. Then there's Brom, who is completely new to this build. Yep. Don't let his muscles fool you. Brom's a defensive powerhouse with an unbreakable shield that he can power up with ice magic. Unsurprisingly, so that makes up a large part of his kit. Certain moves coat his shield in ice, allowing him to armor through attacks, stealing back his turn, or winning neutral interactions he might otherwise lose. Wow. His assists also let him pop in and shield a tag partner, or get the party started with a charge attack. Oh, and uh, he can throw his adorable furry poros at you too. <laughs> Brom works best as a support character, but don't let that. Yeah, I love that either. attack. That he little one-handed push up. dish out the damage if he hits you. He's a unique character, and seeing him played at a high level made me excited to get him into the lab and see what I can do with him with some practice. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a nice my combo. My favorite new addition, though, was Alawi, the Kraken Princess. Alawi mm -hmm. is a high damage powerhouse yeah, with some on tentacles this, to on set up her combos time. and pressure strings. One of her specials summons them and the other activates them. To be clear, she's not a puppet character. She's plenty scary without the tentacles, but if you set them upright, she can deal absolutely monstrous damage, which removes mm -hmm. some of her best and scariest okay. neutral. Because when I used her, I struggled a bit because it wasn't as easy to combo because her tentacles, you had to set that up, and it seemed like she had a lot more range-based attacks. And if you see Braun, even though they said he's a support tank, He's a rushdown. I was able to rush down very easily. I was able to block, and then the shield being charged up with magic. So, definitely varies Both on the ones. archetypes. Playing Alawi means taking smart risks, setting up your tentacles, and cashing out when you land the right hit. Mm. If you can't do that, though, you'll have to take more risks or rely on your tag team partner to set you up. Playing Alawi okay. right is a blast, and I can't wait to spend more time with her. Well said. Well said. 
The rest of what I saw from 2XKO is the same as it was last year. Darius, Echo, and Yasuo return, and... Okay. Shout out to IGN. But yeah, that's the same similar just I got. I didn't understand what it was, but just from seeing her tentacles and stuff, that makes a lot of sense that she's a little more harder to use and has to rely on other tactics. But yeah, this game is looking good. Uh, Braum right now is my favorite. I can't wait to find out because I, I don't even know how to throw these little these little furries or whatever. I have no idea how to do that. I was just mainly comboing with the shield, having it uh stack of magical abilities and just going ham <laughs> honestly so yeah i can't wait um alpha is coming up if you haven't signed up already go ahead um i th- believe on the 8th is when this game will be available for an alpha and yeah this game is going to shake things up i feel like uh and especially since it's a free to play this game i i it could be too soon, but just from how smooth it plays and how good of a fighting game it is so far, I'm very, very impressed. So and there's been a lot of fighting games right now because we're in that era with the big three and this one's coming up there. So I hope you guys enjoy this little breakdown slash showing, you know, other footage so you can be better explained because I only got a little small time of playtime myself at Evo. But I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. I appreciate you for watching. Catch you on the next one.